Well, between Andrew's music that went right to my soul and Fred, your kind, very poignant words, I'm a little undone as I start. Two and a half years ago, the unthinkable thing happened. Our youngest son, Matthew, took his life after more than two decades of suffering and torment with mental illness. He was an amazing young man, and we miss him desperately. He was clinically depressed when he was seven years old. We didn't know that children could be depressed, and so it took us a while to figure out that something was going on, and he suffered in our ignorance because we simply didn't know. And soon after that, it felt like all the diagnoses just began to stack up. It was depression, and then ADHD, and then panic attacks, and then early onset bipolar, and then OCD, and then major depression, and then borderline personality disorder, and suicidal ideation. And his life was torment. And he spent most of his life seeing doctors, treatments, medications, special schools, um, anything and everything that we could possibly and remotely think that might make a difference for our beloved child. He first spoke of suicide when he was 12 on Mother's Day of all days. As I tucked him in to bed that night, it had been a hard day, but as I tucked him into bed that night, he made the first request that he then made for many years after, and it was this, Mama, would you please just kill me and put me out of my misery? Now, no parent ever should have to hear those words, but on Mother's Day,